I think it's a little bit of that. Y'all want to dance, right? All right. Here we go, Cal. You know, we're all attracted by soul music, but there was a lot of things that we just very naturally came from all the different music, you know, we grew up listening to, whether that was, you know, DC punk rock or Steely Dan or Stevie Wonder or, you know, uh, you know, the police, you know, there was just things we came up with that it was just very quickly started coloring outside the lines, but just still felt very natural to us. And it was still danceable. Uh, and you know, just with, with the lyrics and, and you know, Jay's delivery, it was all just very heartfelt, and we just pushed forward with it. You know, we were never interested in being just a strict uh, revival of you know '60s soul band. I mean, that was you know part of that was definitely in the mix. You know, um, but it just it just came very naturally to us to you know kind of have this you know broader sound. record it would be silly not to mention that we're listening to LCD sound system and the band everybody loves Bowie and like all these other things are in there because at this point it doesn't sound like something from the 60s I mean to the extent that it ever sounded like something from the 60s yeah. um, which I, I don't really think it did but, <laughs> but you know now it, it, you know, nobody would make that mistake um, I think it sounds very modern and it's got bits and pieces of things we love you know from all of pop music history is definitely more about uh, personal experiences, but the last album was more about personal philosophy. Craigslist to add back in 2007, you know, looking to do uh, aggressive dance music, combining, you know, it was, it was definitely 60s soul, you know, minimalist, uh, there was always a talk of minimalism, keeping things kind of, you know, stripped down, uh, you know, with post-punk, and uh, that, that was really it, you know, talking about, you know, Talking Heads and Otis Redding, Iggy and the Stooges, and Tina Turner, you know, and, you know, Jason and I answered the ad. And we got together um, at Billy's place, and just immediately it felt uh, there, there was a chemistry there. You know, we, we each had some songs we had all, you know, kind of had written. And we're like, oh, this, I think, you know, this, this, this works. Okay. And it, it, we, we just had, it had this chemistry that we just realized, you know, imagine going on your first date with someone and be like, hey, this is cool, you want to get married? You yeah. know, and because just immediately, <laughs> like, we should, let's, let's form a band. There was yeah. no... Oh, this is. Let's see where this goes. Like, let's form a band. This, okay. this seems worth pursuing. And you know, by our, I don't know, fifth or sixth show, you know, we were drawing, you know, crowds. You know, that was, had gone beyond just our friends and family coming to see us. So yeah. we just felt like oh, this was this was worth pursuing. You know, so. Sitting here waiting and 
Thank y'all so much. Oh, man.